Happy Friday, Vineyard family. Um, June 19th, finishing up our week uh, in good and beautiful life, uh, dealing with lust, sexual sin, um, hard stuff, especially, I believe, in this day and culture that we're in. Um, you know, if you listen to this podcast in the morning, um, just encourage you to um, start your day with that sense of, Lord, we're going to do good and beautiful life today. Um, that sense of hope and, and reality that he's with you in the midst of it, like we've talked about this week. If you do it some other time during the day, um, I would really encourage you then to just be there in the moment um, to bring the good and beautiful life of Jesus into that space wherever you are and, um, and then begin to walk it out of that space on through your day um, just to be able to get your focus back on him and uh, allow him to do this work of transformation that he has begun in you and that he will complete. Uh, just uh, before we pray, remind you about the 48-hour fast. It's Friday, so if you haven't been able to do that, turn off your phone and the TV. I'd encourage you to try a shorter one. Try eight hours or 12 hours. Um, just some time to realize that you really can unplug and that during that time, the Holy Spirit has a way of meeting us and working in us and getting our attention because we're just not being distracted um, by so much other stuff from this world. So engage it. I just would encourage you um, to do that. Let's pray together. Jesus, as we finish this week of following you together, we desire to find your kingdom power to walk in purity and holiness. To be different, Lord, in this, um, in this world that is so caught up in sexual sin, Lord. So we ask you during our few minutes on this Friday to do a supernatural work in us. And all we do is simply set our hearts and minds on you and invite your presence, Holy Spirit. Amen. Just a couple things as we close our week. Um, first one being that as we deal with this area of sexual sin and lust, I, I hope you got this out of the chapter, that most of our work is indirect. Um, and most of us that have battled sexual sin in any area of our life know that the harder I try not to do it, the worse it gets. And uh, I just really appreciated this book showing us that the attack has to be different, that I don't approach it um, by just trying harder, but that I desire and invite the Holy Spirit to do a work in me so that I become the kind of person who just doesn't want to do it anymore, who uh, is changed from the inside out so that sexual sin and the lust that goes with it um, doesn't have a hold on me, that the hole that was there, that void is filled with God in his kingdom. Um, my question for us in that area today would be just for you to continue to ask yourself if you believe that can happen. I think most of us, if we've dealt with this area, we walk in defeat so often that pretty soon we just don't believe it's possible. It is. It's possible. And I just want to encourage your heart today um, to to just engage this whole reality of focusing on him and believing that he can do it and that he will. Um, the second thing I wanted us to focus on as we close our week is that in the midst of dealing with sexual sin in the culture that we're in, I believe that for most of us, most of the time, and as we progress through this, we're going to experience failure. We're going to have good days. We're going to have bad days. There's going to be that time when there's a particular movie or something comes up on the Internet or somebody drives by and we just go there. And the guilt and the shame and the anger even comes. And, uh, and we are so easily um, sucked aside by the enemy who accuses us by our own sense of, again, of shame and guilt, and pretty soon we are just paralyzed and feel like we can't move on, that we'll never be pure, that this is just an area of our life that we'll never have victory in. So as we end our week, I, I just wanted us to pause 
and allow the Holy Spirit to use a, a famous passage of scripture that deals particularly um, with sexual sin um, as an opportunity for us to, to just put guilt and shame down again, to remind ourselves of how to fight the battle and for any of us today that just have been walking in defeat, um, my prayer would be that this would be a day when you can lay it down, you can take a step toward Jesus again and allow the Holy Spirit to pull you back into the battle, to allow you to believe and trust his supernatural work in your life today. So let's take a deep breath. Invite the Holy Spirit to come in your place, in your life. Come, come Holy Spirit. And then honestly and deeply, I want you to allow yourself to bring the truth of wherever you are of this area in your life before him right now. In simple confession, in simple honesty, to just say, Lord, you know where I'm at. Lord, change me. Lord, I, I'm defeated in this area right now and I need you to help me and know that he will. And then listen to these uh, verses that I know you've heard before out of Psalm 51. Have mercy on me, O God, according to your unfailing love, according to your great compassion, Blot out my transgressions. Wash away all my iniquity and cleanse me from my sin. For I know my transgression and my sin is always before me. Against you and you only have I sinned and done what is evil in your sight. So that you are proved right when you judge and justified when you judge. Surely I was sinful at birth. Sinful from the time my mother conceived me. But surely you desire truth in the inner parts and you teach me wisdom in the inner place. So Lord, today, cleanse me with hyssop and I will be clean. Wash me and I will be whiter than snow. Let me hear joy and gladness. Let the bones you have crushed rejoice. Hide your face from my sins and blot out all my iniquity. Create in me a pure heart, O God, and renew a steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation and grant me a willing spirit to sustain me. Lord, let that be our prayer today. Let us know your forgiveness. Rest in it, walk in it, believe it. And in that, find a freedom to love you more than we love anything else. In your name, Lord, amen. Have a great weekend. Um, We'll be moving on into the next chapter next week and uh, just praying that God gives you incredible victory in this area of your life. Be blessed.